Welcome to openmentor.net. In this session, we are going to see some of the features of IBM Rational Performance Tester, shortly known as RPT, which is one of the well-known performance testing tool. It does load stress scalability, volume test, endurance, and availability tests. It mimics virtual users. You need to go to IBM site and then register yourself and then download the evaluation copy. You should use only for learning purposes, strictly no commercial usage with that license. If you need anything on the license, please contact IBM. This session is purely providing you an educational information to you. Once you install IBM Rational Performance Tester, if you go to start programs, you will see this IBM software delivery platform and then IBM Rational Performance Tester. You need to choose the first one, IBM Rational Performance Tester. Once you choose that, it will load the Eclipse. Eclipse is the integrated development environment for Java. The first step is to open a workspace. The workspace is nothing but a folder and group of subfolders underneath that. By default, it goes to this one. You can have it in any folder. Create a workspace. This is Rational Performance Tester 8.3, latest as on date. This is a license, a evaluation license. If you have original license for commercial usage, you can use manage licenses. Right now, I'm going to ignore this. So this is the Eclipse window. Okay. Eclipse is for Java, so whoever is familiar with Java development, it will be easy for them to understand this. The first step is create workspace. Second step is go to file, create a new performance test project. Once you create, I am creating project 1. Okay. You can click next, it shows certain things, then you can click finish. It creates a project. Right now, I am not checking anything on that. We are going to manually add that. By default, it will go to start recording something. I can say cancel at this point of time. The project is now on the left hand side. If you expand, there is nothing underneath the project. Okay. Second step is create the project. That's what we have done. The third step is I can create a script by recording. RPT supports Citrix protocol, HTTP, SAP, services, web services socket TCP IP and TN3270 terminal. Now we are using HTTP test here. This is the record button. Pull this arrow. You will get this. Click this HTTP. Now it is asking me what is the test name. I am going to say uh, test1. Okay. Then I choose next. It asks what is the browser. In 8.3 it supports uh, Firefox, IE and Chrome. Right now, I'm going to use IE. I select Next. It goes through, by default, a proxy recorded. Okay, let it be default. Then I click Finish. Then, before recording, make sure you close all your browsers. Once the browser opens, it says Remove Temporary Files. So what I'm going to do is go to Tools, go to Internet Options, Browsing history, delete temporary files, delete it, delete all. By doing this, nothing is there in the cache of the browser. If something is there in the cache, it will not be downloaded from the server. So clear the cache. Now, I am going to use a HTTP application, which is our sample application, 192.168. This is this machine. We have created a sample application, which is running under this port. This is a very simple app mimicking a materials management. I load the home page now. Now it is recording. Okay. Now I am typing the user ID and password. I log in as a user. Imagine the user goes to items. It displays some screen. The user just comes out of it. Okay. He logs out. Then I close the browser. When you close the browser, it says recording is finished and then it says test generation completed. Click open test. Now it says some test data may need to be correlated. At this point of time, I am not going to 
choose the uh, uh, option yes i'll say no we will deal with correlation and data pools later okay not in this session if you see here the project was initially empty now the test one is here there are two tabs one is the test one dot recording session this is only a basic information of whenever we are doing the recording it tells you what is happening on the proxy while recording it will tell you what has happened so if you are done with recording you can close this tab this is the test tab if you see here in this test tab this is the test it is like a tree fashion there are some test resources we will come to that later now this is the JSP page okay then at the bottom there is a protocol data tab I click the protocol data tab it shows request response headers response content and then browser if I click the browser at the time of recording however it was displaying it shows you here so this is the home page then I click this the second one on the tree this is the page where I logged in then this is the page where the item master loaded this is the final logout page so if you see here whatever I have recorded as a as a normal user this user went to the home page logged in went to the items page then logged out that's what very simple so the very first step in RPT the very first thing that you need to do is always take and take the application record what one user may do without even doing any data entry just log in go to home page log in navigate to a page or navigate to multi pages stop generate the script that's what we have done the second step is just run you can select the test over here if you scroll down you could see a run button here or you can use this green button either way it's fine so I click this run once I click this run okay just watch I'm expanding the screen now I click this run it starts the run just one user the way you record it watch over here in this browser window it goes to the home page it logs in it goes to the items page then it logs out so one user exactly the way we recorded it went to the home page logs in go to the items page done coming out and it shows another tab which is the report okay the report contains so many things like summary performance response time etc we will deal with all those things when we, when we come to the analysis page the very first thing in this session what we learned is we opened RPT created workspace created a performance testing project recorded one HTTP application user goes to the home page logs in goes to some page logs out we saw that in the protocol data browser model then we ran from here okay this is the script we ran the script when we run the script it is assumed to be one user there is another way to run multiple users so first run it as one user and we saw the recorded content being played back and we saw the results that's what we have done with this we will close this session we will see other details in the next session thank you